A coroner's inquest has started into the death of a Queensland teenager months after the closure of an adolescent mental health facility. Caitlin Wilkinson Whitaker's mother says her daughter was left without proper care before she took her own life in 2014. Amber Austin Wright was in court. Justine Wilkinson says her daughter Caitlin was left without support when she needed it most. Without Barrett she had nothing and I was excluded from her treatment by the clinician so she was really up against it. The 18 year old was one of three teenagers who took their own life within eight months of the LNP government closing the Barrett Adolescent Centre in 2014. The Brisbane Coroner's Court is also investigating the deaths of 17-year-old Talia Nabawa and 18-year-old Will Fowle. All three had lived at the crucial mental health facility. Caitlin was an inpatient there for three years. As soon as she just had the right supports and the right sort of treatment from um, Queensland Health, then she would have stood a much better chance. It was the only centre to provide long-term inpatient treatment for young people with complex mental illnesses. The management of patients' clinical needs and the risk of self-harming before and after leaving the centre will be a focus at the inquests of all three teenagers who took their own lives. These families have already been through so much already and we're hoping to achieve some closure. A facility to replace the Barrett Centre at the Prince Charles Hospital is running behind schedule and isn't expected to open until 2020. Eleven witnesses are expected to give evidence at the three-day hearing into Caitlin's death. The other two hearings will be held later this month and next month. Amber Austin Wright, 10 Eyewitness News. And anyone needing help in times of crisis can ring Lifeline on 13 11 14 at any time of the day or night.